So I shaved my mustache this morning and my beard here and my girlfriend thinks I look like a kid. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bennett Grazer and I'm a passionate filmmaker helping other creators create better videos. So if that's your thing, make sure you hit that notification bell button to get the latest video updates on my channel. So I got a request from Nicholas Erweiler. I hope I said that right. Asking me to make a video about frame rates and slow motion. Well, in this video, it's all about that. So let's first talk about frames. What are frames? When you watch a video, you basically see a lot of images flying by your eyes, tricking you into seeing things moving. Each of these images are called frames. Now, when we talk about frame rates, the standard speed to get that cinematic look is around 24 frames per second. Now, this means that 24 pictures are compressed into one second. Now, this allows for fluid movement in your video. Now, when shooting at a lower frame rate, for example, 22 frames per second, you will notice that the video will look choppy. In the other hand, if you shoot, for example, 60 or 120 frames per second and play it back 24 frames per second, you will get your desired slow motion looking video. Now check your camera if it offers these frame rates. I shoot with the Sony a7 III that can shoot up to 120 frames per second. If you shoot 60 frames, then I'm sorry for you. That just isn't good enough. 60 frames just works fine. I started out with the Canon 80D that shoots 60 frames per second and I was totally happy with it. There you have it. But wait, there is more to it. So the shutter speed also plays a big part and is important for creating motion blur in your video. The shutter speed is the length of time your camera shutter is open, exposing light onto the camera sensor. So what's a shutter? Well, the shutter is basically a curtain in front of the camera sensor that opens and closes. The general rule of frame rates, which is also a standard in the film industry, is that your shutter speed should be double your frame rate to get that natural motion blur, which is close to what we see with our eyes. Now, this is also known as the 180 degree shutter rule. Remember this, when I set my shutter speed low, I get more motion blur. When I set my shutter speed high, I get less motion blur. Easy as that. So when I shoot at 24 frames per second, I set my shutter speed to 48. Same goes when I shoot at 120 frames per second. I also keep it double my frame rate, which is 240. When I record in 120 frames per second, sometimes I set my shutter speed higher. Why would I set my shutter speed higher? Well, the shutter speed also affects how bright or dark an image is. Take note, when I raise my shutter speed, I darken my image. When I lower my shutter speed, I brighten my image. I hardly notice any difference when I set my shutter higher than 240 and play back in slow motion. Since everything is slowed down, you can't really notice any motion blur. So another thing I want you to be aware of is when you shoot slow motion in the dark, you're basically screwed because the higher your shutter speed, the more light you need. So shooting in good lighting conditions will give you the best results. Shooting outside on a bright day should work fine, but when shooting indoors, you might need some extra light or a good low light camera like the Sony a7 III. So I like to use slow motion to make the scene look more dramatic or intense. Especially in my travel videos, I mostly use slow motion to give that dreamy look. So here are a few benefits when shooting slow motion. When you film just handheld, if you're not skilled, you usually get a lot of shakiness in your video. You can reduce that shakiness by slowing the video down. Don't forget to add warp stabilizer in post to get even smoother looking footage. You can speed ramp your video to transition from one clip to another. You also have more good footages to work with since slowing the clip down allows you to select the best shots. Now here are two bonus tips on how I get the most out of my slow motion videos. I make sure I create enough movement 
with my camera or make the subject do something to make the video look more interesting. Combining both of these methods make the shot even better. I try to shoot with a wider lens to make the shot more dynamic. You can of course shoot with a zoom lens, just make sure the subject creates a lot of movement in it. So that's about it. I use slow motion consciously. Not everything has to be in slow motion. Keep in mind that it has to fit the story you want to tell. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my video so that this channel can grow further and faster, giving me the opportunity to create more of these tutorials and helping you to become a better filmmaker. Catch you next time.